Welcome to the Charger Robotics Robo Recap Special Edition for the St. Louis Regional. Team 537 hit the road March 8th through the 12th as they competed in the St. Louis Regional, held at the Heifetz Arena in St. Louis, Missouri. 52 FRC teams from 7 states took to the Steamworks competition field during the second week of regional events. Unlike the Wisconsin Regional, the Chargers do not have the luxury of short bus rides in their own beds. The six-hour trek to St. Louis took students, mentors, and parents away from home and into hotel rooms. We spoke to a handful of students about their experiences in St. Louis. To learn more about what goes on in the pits and with the drivers, we spoke with Caitlin Bowles and Matt Colasari. We compared the experiences of Devin Jensen, who has never traveled before, and James Lang, who has traveled three times. So at this competition season, I am our team's pit boss. So I'm in charge of the robot's functionality and everything that goes on in the pits. Um, to make sure that our drive team always has an operational robot and fix whatever got broke on the field and optimize it to be the best bot possible. At St. Louis, it's probably a lot more relaxed there, kind of. Um, there's not as many tasks that need to be done. Like at Wisconsin, I'm personally one of our team's dean list candidates, so I'll be pulled away for that. And also, I do some special like VIP touring, and so I get pulled away from that. So at St. Louis, it is mainly that is like more so just focused on the bot, and I didn't really have to worry about the regional as a whole and kind of what our whole entire team was doing. My jobs at this regional was to be the pilot and to be the human player to load gears onto the field and load the fuel onto the onto the field, and also to raise the gears up and place the gears. And also, I was partial safety captain there too. Um, how the atmosphere is different from Wisconsin, it's more of a family feel. It's that, it, that, it's that competitive feel. Each regional has their own feel. Um, my opinion, it was very competitive. It was very fun. Um, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, the workloads is going to be completely different from Wisconsin because at this regional we're not supplying our practice course, so we're going to have to bring our practice course there. Um, and it's just pretty much our home turf, so we have to defend it. My jobs at this year's regional were well, only one, scouting. My experience with traveling for the first time was fun. The atmosphere in St. Louis was more hyped up than at Wisconsin. My jobs at this regional ranged from, ranged from the setup and cleanup of the pits to being in the pits talking to judges and community members about our team to being in the stands and participating in the great spirit our team had at this event. For me, my favorite part about traveling is all the spirit and energy that our team members have whether it's the fact that we're separated from our families or just the fact that we're all just happy to be together competing in a competition, everyone is always just so energized and it's a really fun environment to be in and it's just a lot of fun. And so the atmosphere was really different for me because I found that at this regional, everyone just seemed to be really chill. It was really com it was competitive, but it was still a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun interacting with other team members and other mentors and it really just made it a very fun event for all the participants. Like in most sports, scouting provides a look into the abilities, strategy, and gameplay of other teams. The data collected is then used to help formulate strategies for each three-team alliance during a match. It is also a crucial tool in picking the alliance partners that teams want to take with them into elimination rounds. Team 537 spends time making sure that scouting data is accurate and useful to anyone who needs it. A scouting application was developed last year by our application development team, which works as an app on mobile devices. Our team purchased seven tablets to be used for scouting purposes. Hunter Dow, strategy lead, will give us more insight. Scouting is what we do to inform the drivers what the other robots can do in their matches. Our scouters watch the matches and we developed an app that they can process their data of what they, the other robots can do. The drivers and the coach can go over strategy with our alliances and know what we're up against in the upcoming matches. In the semifinals of St. Louis, our scouters gave us information that our opponent team had three gear bots and we have to fight against their strategy, so we had to change our strategy to be defense. The first match was a little rough as we came out with a score of 113 points. Match 2 and 3 for Team 537 was scarcely better with additional losses, gathering scores of 94 and 206 points. We recovered strongly shortly after match 4 when our team won for the Red Alliance with 148 points. 
Team 537 ended the last handful of qualifications well on the Blue Alliance, as we won match 5, 8, and 9 with the scores of 170, 342, and 196, respectively. Team 1732, the Hilltoppers from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, were gracious enough to invite Team 537 to join them and Team 1706, Ratchet Rockers from Wentzville, Missouri, to participate in the first seeded alliance. After graciously accepting their offer, Team 1732, Team 1706, and Team 537 advanced to the quarterfinal matches with two wins for the Red Alliance. During the semifinal matches, our alliance earned 263 and 330 points, with two more wins for our alliance, advancing us to the finals. While competing in final matches, our alliance was fortunate enough to bring in the final two wins, with 310 and 308 points, earning the title of regional winners. Team 537 earned the highest honor at the St. Louis Regional. The Regional Chairman's Award is presented at first regionals to the team that best represents a model for FRC teams to emulate and best embodies the purpose and principles of FIRST by helping those around them. Team 537 is very humbled to have been given this award. If you are not able to travel with Team 537, you can tune in to At The Control, a website that gives you stats, schedules, and a live feed of FIRST regionals. To make sure you don't miss any of the action, visit atthecontrol.com. Thanks for joining us for this summary of the St. Louis Regional. Tune in next week for Team 537's Robo Recap.